Podcast. Hi, we are Mitch and Jan. We just spent the last year preparing for our early retirement and life of travel. We have now sold everything and we plan to travel abroad in winters and spend summers in our converted sprinter van. We hope you will have fun following us on our adventures. We hope to inspire you to live your best life, whatever that looks like to you. We just spent the last two months in sunny Portugal and we're now bringing you along as we explore Spain. Well, hello. <laughs> so, we have a bit of a story. <laughs> I'll let you start. Well, we have to rewind a little bit. It begins with our Airbnb um, in Alicante. We were not that happy with it. Not at all. Um, we tried to be. We tried to be very positive. Um, we weren't crazy about the neighborhood. We weren't crazy about the actual unit itself. There was quite a sewery smell, which apparently can be normal in these older buildings in Spain and probably in other places. Um, and you kind of need to put drain covers over. Anyway, we just, we were not digging it and we got honest with each other one day and just said, look, I, I can't stay here for a month and this might happen and we might have to eat it. Long story short, our hosts were actually extremely understanding and amazing people and they are gonna refund us. So that that's all amazing. However, in the last three days we have tried to find accommodations and decide where we want to go for the next three weeks because we still want to see Spain. We love Spain. Um, we ended up deciding on like a smaller town up the coast from Alicante called Dania. So a good friend of ours recommended Dania because they had been there. So that's where we're headed. However, um, so we checked we out today. We got booked in for today. Yeah, so we decided that we were going to take the tram, uh, which was super cheap. It was like four euros each uh, to get us to Dania, which um, like would have taken, yeah, Dania. like yeah. maybe three hours. So no big deal. We'll ride the public transit. It's going to be great. Um, and then we go to buy our tickets and we were told that the furthest we could go um, is Today. <laughs> uh, Altea. And the reason was, you know, a fire. So we just assumed there was a maybe a problem with the station, the tram station in Altea. Um, so we said, okay, we'll go that far and then we'll just, you know, take a cab. Um, you know, I think it's only like 36 miles to get yeah. um, to Dania from, from Altea, where we are right now. So no problem. So we, uh, we arrive and we get off the tram in Altea um, and come to find out that the fire is a massive wildfire um, here in Spain and the highway is <laughs> shut down. <laughs> this really kind girl, we got off the train and she, we were kind of stopped like, okay, we don't really know what to do. We need to regroup. There was no cab sitting right there. And she stopped and she was so sweet and she was like, do you need help? And you know, her English was, was better than my Spanish for sure, but it wasn't great. And so we just said, well, we need to get to Dania. And she's like, no, you can't. And we're like, no, like a taxi. We know the train won't go there. And she's like, no, you, you can't go at all. The wildfires are, and we're like, oh, what? <laughs> Let's say what? Yep. <laughs> so we needed to regroup and we did. We did. We found a little, um, little beach bar and uh, had a wine, had a little snack, and um, we think that we can uh, take a taxi and it's going to take three uh, times the amount of, uh, you know, three times the amount of time to get there. To go around. To go around, which probably wires. means three times the amount of money. <laughs> but still not any more expensive than a hotel Correct. if we had to find one last minute here. Although, we're very happy we got this last hour here because we it's love beautiful. Altea. It's really beautiful. Like we actually might come back for a little day trip if yeah. the fires subside and we can make it here in 30 <laughs> minutes because it is lovely. We sat, we people watched. It's this gorgeous pebbly beach with the waves rolling in. There's mountains over there. There's mountains over there. If the sun is blasting, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's actually turned out to be a lovely little hour and a half of rest and repose and regrouping. Yep. And this is just some of the travel glitches that we know we are gonna run into. Exactly. We are extremely thankful that we are not on a seven day or 10 day or two week vacation and feeling like this whole day is wasted. This is our lifestyle and this is a very small glitch. And of course, 
hope that everyone in the towns that are affected by the wildfires and everything obviously are, are okay For sure. and that everything, because that's awful that that's happening. And it's quite windy, so I'm sure that's not helping. So, so we are gonna try and call a cab now. Our host, we did contact our, our new Airbnb host, who was extremely helpful, and he was like, I, I heard nothing about this, let me try and find out some information. Um, and so he's been extremely helpful and tried to get us a private transfer. Unfortunately, they only do airport transfers, so we're just gonna go the taxi route. Yep. Um, but he's been amazing. We're excited to get to Dania. We feel very good that you know, we're gonna get a cab and it's gonna be a little more than we thought, but it's all fine. It's all part of the journey. It's part of the journey. <laughs> all right, hopefully next time we'll be in Dania. And we'll have, yes, a great end to this story. Exactly. <laughs> all right, see you soon. Success, we are in a cab. Headed to Dania. Going to take us three times longer than it should normally because of these wildfires, but we are going to make it. So hopefully we're gonna get some spectacular views along the way. We'll take you along. Well, good morning. Hi friends. We made it. <laughs> we're finally in Dania. It's the next day. And it wasn't so much finally. Yeah, it is the next day because we were just we wanted to get settled. It had been a bit of a day. We were tired and we just thought, you know, we'll just wrap this up in the morning. Well, the good news was um, as we were driving, um, initially it was going to take us about an hour and a half uh, to get here. And uh, the taxi driver's GPS uh, rerouted them maybe about 10 minutes into the drive. Um, so I'm assuming the highway reopened. Um, <laughs> so instead of an hour and a half, we got here in like 33 or 36 uh, minutes, which we were super stoked about. Yes, it took us like less time and obviously cost a lot less money. And... I just can't believe we were so lucky. It was we we were like looking, going, what? We're, it's only going to be twenty more minutes. <laughs> oh, it was so good. And our initial um, thoughts on um, Dania is it's lovely. It's a beautiful, beautiful little town. Um, it's very clean. Our Airbnb is so lovely, and we're so excited. We are sitting in the pool area courtyard right now that uh, sort of all the rooms face. Our little backyard is just over there. So we're really loving it. We haven't explored very much. We did go for some groceries for a little walk um, this morning, but we haven't really done a lot here in Dania. And when we do, we will take you along because yeah, I think we're really gonna love it here. It's quite the journey. Yeah, so that's the end of our story. Um, it seemed like we didn't really know where we were going to be at um, midday yesterday, but it has all worked out just beautifully. So, yay. Cheers. Cheers.